Hello, BookTube community, and welcome to another installment of Aaron's Book Club. I finally have my textbook read, um, and I want to do a quick review on that, hopefully before my battery runs out. So the textbook that I read for this time is Domestic Animal Behavior for Veterinarians and Animal Scientists. Um, it is basically a textbook that I got um, when I went through my veterinary technology course, and I almost wished that I'd read it cover to cover during that time. Unfortunately, I didn't. I just read the chapters that were um, required of me. Um, I was expecting it to be a very dry book, and, and parts of it really were. I think the idea of reading a chapter in between my other books was great because then I'm not getting tired of it. But the book in general was really well done. Um, it's set up like a normal textbook. Um, it had covered mostly everything from large animal to small, small animal, um, like cows, horses, pigs, sheep, goats, cats, and dogs are basically what they're talking about. Now, they did a lot more work on dogs than they did on cats, um, and I think it was done in the stage when cats were still kind of a mystery to the field. Cats still are kind of a mystery to the field, um, and so they didn't really have a lot to, to say learning-wise with cats. Um, and some of their philosophies was still kind of out there, like one of the behavioralists said if your dog is digging um, holes in the yard, what you do is you fill that hole with water and you dunk your dog's head in it. Like that works, right? Um, but it, it was an interesting concept, it was an interesting view on things. Um, and they do have some, some pictures as, as they're describing different things like animal play behavior and that kind of thing. So that was enjoyable. Um, it was something that I found easy to read, um, especially since we only did like a chapter at a time. Some of the chapters were long and I had to, you know, stop for a bit and restart, but all in all I enjoyed it. What I really like about the book is in the back it has um, like clinic assessment forms and that kind of thing that you can have your client fill out. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a bit of a dry book, but I mean it was a textbook. So glad I'm finally over it, or finally through it. Um, and then that frees me up to get another textbook after this. So I've got one more book to read, and that gives me time to think about what my next textbook will be. Textbook will be. Um, but all in all, that's all I've got to say for this weekend, and I will let you know when I have another book read. Thanks so much, guys, for listening to me rant.